So you selected question two as your section A question. This might have been a really good choice. Some things that make this a good choice, the first part. Question 2A is an identify question. Identify questions are a really easy way to gain marks if you know the answer, because you don't need to spend time explaining, elaborating, any of that writing excess doesn't need to be there. You simply need to state or identify each point that you're making. So question 2A, identify two threats and two opportunities for this business. Now, some key things to remember, even though you're just identifying, they do have to be relevant to the case, okay? The question has specified that opportunities and threats for innocent. So if you kind of just gave two general opportunities and threats in the market, you probably didn't get the marks here. But let's assume that you were going to give me the right things. So things to remember here, opportunities and threats are future, they haven't happened yet, and they are external to the business, okay? So the factors that you are identifying here should all be factors that are not directly in innocence control. So what were some of the things that you might have said? Well, you might have talked about some opportunities, such as the fact that there are increasing incomes in the region, particularly in the UK, okay? You might have talked about the fact that there are changing perceptions and increasing value on healthy products, right? You could have talked about the increased international cooperation that might have been happening, okay, between certain countries in which Innocent wanted to participate, particularly the European countries. I want to highlight here, some of this information in the case study may have changed. We know obviously that there's quite a bit of turmoil in the EU and the British markets. You don't have to talk about it as it is now. You're making reference to the information that you've got in front of you. So don't stress if you think, oh, but, but that's not true anymore. You're relying on the case study, not your external knowledge. So now let's talk about some threats. So there are some threats in this scenario. For example, the media don't have a particularly good view of Coca-Cola as an organization, okay? Um, there's possible changes in the way Coca-Cola is operating and what they want to get out of it and if they merge what coca-cola intends in the future may change there's rival businesses competitions always a really good threat to discuss for businesses because it's almost always applicable all right um, and of course there's the notion that there might be larger companies copying innocence model okay so for example we know coca-cola is interested in it so but those companies have advantages and economies of scale and all those other things. Now you didn't need to explain any of that. You simply could state your point and move on. So these are dot point answers, a couple of words each, four marks and you're done. All right, let's talk about question 2B. This was the six marker. So you'll have noticed that there's a six mark question in every set of questions for section A. Okay, and the six mark question always comes with a mark rubric. So there are three bands that you have to meet. In answering this question or guiding you through this question, I'm gonna talk about the content that you might have included and then how that might meet the mark band criteria. So hopefully you go away with a better understanding of how to approach this question in the future. So the question actually was a little bit of a reversal from normal. It asked you to analyze the role of entrepreneurship in the performance of innocent drinks. Now, that's really easy generally to talk about advantages of entrepreneurship, but it becomes a little bit more tricky when it, we have to think about the downsides of it. So, first thing to remember with any of these questions, you're answering it in relation to a particular business. Therefore, you have to make constant reference to that business in identifying your response. Let's start with the advantages though. So the advantages of entrepreneurship for Innocent included some obvious things, like there was a really original idea in play here. They wanted to make healthy smoothies, they wanted to make them distributable, so not made on the spot. They wanted to have ethical product and they wanted to be really obviously socially responsible in that enterprise. You might also talk about the role of the entrepreneurs in leading the vision of the business. This has been a huge advantage for them. They've had a really clear vision about what they wanted to achieve. And they've made this vision clear, not only to their employees, 
but also to the community, to their market. And that's what the customers have really connected with. There's a nice quote inside your case study text about how the customers identified that Innocent were different. They weren't like other multinationals and that's what they liked about them. So make connections to those kinds of passages. You could also have talked about the role that their leadership has played or their presence has played in making the organization successful. Without such driven, motivated owners, we might have seen far less success for a company like Innocent, particularly after some early challenges. Um, and of course, these entrepreneurs set the culture for their business and the culture has been a huge part of their success. So they're the advantages of the entrepreneurship element in Innocent Drinks. But of course, you need to discuss disadvantages. So a few disadvantages you might have included, and there could be others, but you might have talk about, talked about the fact that their entrepreneurship and leadership style was quite laid back and, re and relaxed, and that might have worked in the early days, but perhaps now that it's expanded, it's kind of outgrown that model of leadership, okay? But that's who they are, and they're struggling to adapt to that. That might be a challenge. Um, you might talk about the fact that with the expansion, the business is now largely run by directors and the directors don't necessarily share the passion or the drive the same way that the original entrepreneurs did, okay? You could talk about the indirect control that Coca-Cola now has. And so even though they've got entrepreneurs and entrepreneurship happening, they're also being a bit driven by this multinational, more traditional organization. Okay, and that, that might reduce the impact of the entrepreneurship. Um, and lastly, we know that they're trying to expand into the Asian region. So you might talk about the fact that their entrepreneurship model and their leadership is largely very westernized. Um, and so that Western style may not translate either in terms of leading employees in other countries or marketing to those countries. And that could prove problematic in the future. So that's the content side of a six mark question. But you also need to consider, I suppose, the mark or rubric requirements. And the rubric requirements get broken into three bands. So the first band is marks one to two. And for this band, you're probably not picking particularly relevant examples or issues in your response. In other words, you're not talking about the right kind of theory. You might have misread the question or misinterpreted it, or you might just not know. So that mark really, for that understanding question, you need to show the right business content. You also at this point are probably not making enough reference to the case study. It is not enough to simply say innocent drinks. You need to talk about what they've done, who they are, make reference to specific passages, you could quote things. You should be using examples at every stage of your analysis. You're probably also at this point not using enough business terminology. You might be describing the right ideas, but you're not using our business terms for them. If this is you, it's probably a really good idea for you to put together a glossary in the back of your notes and work on developing that business vocabulary because it's really, really important. So at band one, you're not really doing any of those things well. And then obviously at band three, you're doing them exceptionally well. So at band three, we would expect to see case study references for every point and not just, oh yes, Innocent did, but what did they do? What was their perspective? What was the community effect? Direct reference to events happening for Innocent. Your theory should also be completely on point. So you're not making random irrelevant comments, you've clearly identified what the question is asking for and discussed and explained this, and you're using that correct terminology throughout your response.